Welcome back to Retro Recall. I am Sam here with Frank and Christian, and today we're gonna go to the dreaded, the horrible, the not so fun, Rusty Bucket Bay. Now, for you guys, it'll be fun, same as ever. Not for me. I hate this level. Hopefully, it's a quick one. It won't be. <laughs> oh, you will quickly see why. Are. Well, it's like parts of it are underwater, but the water is so polluted with oil that it drains your oxygen way faster. And I think it actually drains your life, too. Wait, so did they predict the BP oil spill before the BP oil spill? Oh, dude, Rusty Bucket Bay is just like if New Jersey was a level. Like it's it's the it's level like that you on Jersey, huh? I mean, look, I've met people from Jersey and made Jersey jokes like this, and uh, they think they're hilarious. So <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have guts to come from Jersey because it's Jersey. Where the fuck is it though? I thought it was just to deal with the smell. All the way up here. I will say that at least the people I've met in Jersey were way nicer than a lot of the people I met in New York City. <laughs> I think New York City, everyone just like in a rush. A little bit like London. No, I still find it funny to this day. My freaking dad goes over to New York, and the reason he goes over to New York is to go watch a Red Sox game. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, okay. We go Red Sox, but damn, like, all right, like. I mean, like, yeah, you know, they're your team, sure, but like, why would you go specifically to New York? See a Red Sox game. I don't know. I, I I think at some point somebody confused them on which team was what. <laughs> oh, that's right. Those guys blow up. Well, I mean, there's no socks at all in New York. How the fuck did he get confused? <laughs> oh, there's the White Sox. Or that's Chicago, it? dude. No, the, no, the Yankees. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Yankees and the Sox. New York yeah. White Sox. Yes, mm. the New York White Sox. It would make sense, wouldn't it? It would. Hold on, it shows you how much I really know about baseball. I could never really care less about baseball. Oh, you're gonna die. But then again, here. you give me like a oh, yeah. baseball sim and freaking jacuzzi, I'll spend hours on it. <laughs> like, you see the oil sheen in the water. It drains your oxygen so much faster. Well, it's more optimized than normal water in the game. It's, it's not more realistic. Oil. Well, it's not lagging your fucking game. That's true. It helps to grease up the frames. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, you gotta pay a toll. Nah, if you pay him. Bigger toll, actually. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that enemy now. If you double up on the toll, I, I think you maybe got to sell it. Never mind. Oh, it just puts it in the middle. Yep. But now you, you can get grab this horrible stuff. token. Yep. Yeah, you need ten more somehow. I mean, you were pretty thorough collecting all of them, so... Oh, time to bash this window, because it's broken. Oh, more yep. breaking and entering. Oh, yeah. yeah more B&E. Well, maybe they should fix their f stupid fucking window. And he's going to have to call Ace Attorney after this. Yeah, uh, I broke in here and then contracted cancer from the polluted water. And I uh, was attacked by some weird worm eel thing that they kept as a pet. Yeah, so now, now you're a victim. Oh my god. The fish knocked me underwater. <laughs> That's how violent it is. 
You gotta start oh, no. from the beginning. No, nope, no, you got it. Damn it. Oh, no. Well, I had it. I guess you just aim for a corner. You got this. You got this. Come on, fishy, help him. Or you could just do it normally. I could, because that was you getting cheesed it by accident. I did. I wasn't supposed to. Frankie gave you enough doubt that the game was like, yeah, you can, but not after the first time. Yeah. No, that's just a weird freak thing. Yeah, and all every playthrough I I am a part of is makes me full of doubt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't okay, even this. get high enough with that jump. Well, maybe you're supposed to go around. Probably am. Looks there you like go. it. And a jiggy. First one. The one part of this level that I do always look forward to is the part that, like, everyone else hates it. But it's specifically because Boss Boombox's battle music, I think, is just some of the best boss music in any video game ever. Oh I'll show God, you when really we get there. I'm really trying to reach into the, my deepest crevice of my memory. Boss Boombox, what the hell? Boss Boombox. Three words. Sorry, Mr. Trapped Little Dolphin. We're going to have to uh, leave you there for now. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, no. I did the hey, wrong thing. On. Yeah, what are you supposed to do in there? I meant to go this way. So I can get that little ladder before I drown. How is that shark living in these conditions? I mean, how do sharks live in any North Atlantic waters? Because the water is up by New England and around by, um, not Northern Europe, but around the UK and Ireland. They're not very, uh, they're not very healthy. <laughs> Not the healthiest waters. Yeah, but this is like Wait, a... Uh, who goes to England for the beaches? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, there it goes. Yep. It, it just took a minute. This... Um, yeah, the only people who go to England for the beaches are English people who have never been to an actual beach before. You know, to be honest, I've never found a good beach in the States anyway. The islands are the way to go. Oh, yeah, if you want, like, a real beach. Because beaches in the States are still meant for tourists. I don't and know, man. Largely American tourists. Daytona Beach is uh, the world's most famous beach. They have a giant sign that says so. So it That's must be true. Disgusting. I, it I think it disgusting. actually is true, to be honest. I know it was for the longest time, but honestly, like, I've done beach cleanups on every beach on the east coast of Florida. They're all gross. <laughs> They're oh, yeah. all gross. <laughs> Unless you can see your feet when you're chest high in the water, it, it's not a good beach. Yeah. Well, I didn't say it was a good beach. I said it was the most famous beach. The world's most well, famous, famous beach. Famous and good is not <laughs> oh my good thing. <laughs> oh, like Jeffrey Dahmer is famous. Doesn't mean he's good. Okay. Well, no. I would even seem more infamous. Specifically because of the whole, you know, torture and murder. That would be funny if Daytona changed that sign and said the world's most infamous beach. The <laughs> world's most infamous, infamous yeah. beach. Get the camera angle right and you're gonna fall off again. <laughs> Could you even change the camera angle here? Nope. Wow. It has to be. It's like not completely fixed because I can go like this, but you know, I can't set it. Why do you keep going closer and closer to the edge, Banjo? <laughs> it's all those psychedelic honeys. <laughs> all that psychedelic honey. It's considering yeah. the one that talks. It's, it really is. Banjo is just freaking brain damage from everything he's done in his life. Yeah. 
I've always wondered too, like why this level specifically needed a pit of like nuclear active waste. Uh, to like have some commentary on uh, because it's New Jersey, Frank. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> No! no. Maybe, maybe that, maybe that the explains lag. the voices. That's just how not Banjo the perceives the world. Nope. That is not the way. That's just how Banjo perceives the world. Yeah, because, you know, he, his mind is so fried from all the drugs he's been taking that when people talk, it's normal for Kazooie, but for him, it's just whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Yeah, I, li I like how all your lore for any of the things you mentioned are just like, oh, they're always super high. <laughs> it's like, whoa, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> why not? Because as an adult, you try to come up with some form of logic that makes sense to this. You gotta put in eight. I can't tell if that was actually doing anything. No, I just hear the egg break when I no. do that. You don't hear the little, like, bring A little tone of acceptance. It's like, hey, you did it right. Didn't hear that. I just heard the eggshell go... Tch. I mean, a lot of people have never heard that in their life anyway, so... The tone of acceptance. Yeah. Yeah. It is coveted. You definitely want those like beans. When I actually had to, like when I actually had to look up what how you just say proud in Spanish. It's like, oh, why you have to look it up? Because I've never heard that. <laughs> 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 oh, I shouldn't laugh at that. That's horrible, but my God. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, come here, you wee bastard! Come here. You think you can just come out and hit me in my willy? No. No. Nope. I won't let you cheese it. Nope. Yeah, walk this not dangerous platform. Not dangerous at all. Oh no. That's it, I guess. For this little container, yeah. That's a big shipping container. It's like a, it's like um a TARDIS. Yeah, when you consider that Banjo's literally a bear. Oh wait, I did want to go in this one first. There we go. Oh, yes. enemies down there. Is someone talking to you? Yeah, sailors. Sailor goblin. <laughs> Hi. Ahoy. Hi. <laughs> I like how the these birds. are like the most friendly enemies you've seen so far. It's like, hi, hi, and this Jinjo's in the corner like, help. So they're, this is another thing with their accent. They're saying ahoy. But it sounds like high because they say it's so quick and high pitch. But if you can listen, like they say a whole. Oh, I, I, I see we're talking now. I'm surprised they didn't have okay, like, uh, yeah. what was it? Uh, uh, actually, no, I'm not surprised because, you know, they other Americans were probably just like play testing this is like, oh, hey, you know, hello. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, hi. And then, you know, hi. they they like ship it in. Once the game's already out, they're like, oh, they're meant to say ahoy. It's just like, what? <laughs> yeah, and then all the Americans who play sets are like, what the fuck? No, they say hi. <laughs> don't, don't tell me what they said. I heard what they said. Like, the you made these fellas here right? over say hi. And don't try and tell me that you didn't, because my, both my ears are working. <laughs> I don't hear what I don't heard. Oh, I thought we could open that. I guess not. <laughs> no, the door is open. Uh, no. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's a boom box. Uh, the TNT. It's literally a box of TNT. 
Oh my god, oh, no. is that what they were oh, called? No. No. Boxes? Yep. Because they're boxes I, that go I, boom. I now get the joke. I hate myself that I get the joke now. But I now get the joke. And that's British humor. The slowest burn possible. This game's what? 25 years old? Nearly? And it took you just now <laughs> to get that joke? <laughs> I've never wanted to violently drink so bad in my life. And that is imperialism. <laughs> that is imperialism. Now I can understand why pubs are always open. Well, I mean, because at, at least until, at least until, like, weed is legalized in the UK, that's all you got. And you better not carry a knife. It's the worst thing you could do. Ooh, forgot this is the timed one. Nah. Oh god, how do you even make that? Oh my god! That's how you make that. <laughs> oh. With the help of <laughs> Oh, you turn it into a breakdown and just get super chunky. Ooh, it does not like this boat. Nope. This is what I was worried about with this level. It's that diamond plate that hates it. <laughs> it was specifically this boat. Yeah, because you're walking around this area just fine. <laughs> the fucking music goes with the no boom 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 do do do. Yep. Boom. <laughs> yeah, because see, inside the boat, we're fine. It's literally just the boat. You know, just ah. a. Just because you're on a boat, nothing, everything doesn't need to be boat themed. You don't need anchor bed sheets and like anchor flooring and. Frank, British oh, people aren't creative. <laughs> I, don't know, I like a nautical theme here and there. It's like walking into the post office and the flooring is just envelopes. <laughs> That'll be cool. <laughs> no, it won't. Yeah, it would. That would be actually pretty dope. It's like walking in the steak and shake and the floor just being all vomit. <laughs> I mean, that's already the case for like half the steak and shakes here. Did you see they started getting like automated? Yeah. Because that was the only way they could like keep up with um, digital order demand during COVID. I, I cut found back it on their menu time. and automate everything. Yeah, you don't even talk to a person to order there anymore. Even when you go inside, they oh, don't I, talk to you. No, there's I order at the I menu. There, like, <laughs> like, uh, there's a whole like group of old people who are sitting there. It's like, oh, how do I get my food? Is that like so confused? And I'm just sitting there at the kiosk, like, oh, the guy ran the seven by seven. Oh well, I'll get something else. <laughs> okay, this is the map room. I think that was the only thing in here. What was it in here? I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, some notes, a racist token, and a couple of enemies. Okay, notes are insanely important. Is that with the map? Well, that's how we progress. <laughs> oh no, that's spooky. Oh no, look at it's that. An angry pipe. Rawr. How does he move? How is he sentient? Which? I guess so. They do have animate object as a level five Look spell. At this thing. Listen, there's a nuclear like waste disposal area right next to it. It could, it could just be like like a spider molded his DNA. Maybe that's like the elephant's foot. <laughs> <laughs> no, the elephant foot is much much worse. Like, you can't get within proximity of that without risking lifelong illness, or worse. Then, like, the first thing they did was shoot it with an AK. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think that was the first thing they did, though. <laughs> I remember here they shot it oh, with hey, an look, AK and all uh, they did was eat the bullets. It's Conker's girlfriend on the wall. You saw that, right? Oh, is that who that was? 
I mean, I don't know who else oh, that yeah. would be. Yeah. I don't, I don't know her name. I just know that there's probably a female counterpart to conquer. And it seems like it's her. And this is back before uh, he uh, went hardcore. Oh, yeah. All right, so you see this little number here? No. 3, 12, 1, 11. Yeah. Yes. So, 3, 1, 2. You gotta remember that. Not okay. for long, though. Oh my god. Yeah, it's the floor of this boat, I think, is what what does yeah, it. doesn't like the diamond plate. Wow. This is fucking... Ooh, chug a lug. <laughs> Three, two, one. Three, one, two. No, three, one, two. Whatever. It would work eventually. Yep. Jeez, just like Ooh. that cloud effect is just killing the game. Yeah, it's particle effects, man. Let's <laughs> just get it over with. Jiggy. Yeah, that was horrible. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and now everything's a little bit better. Yeah, because it's like, oh man, thank god we don't have to worry about those stupid cloud effects anymore. Now I'm wondering why Rare thought it was a good idea to put their logo on a container and specifically the level that's all about, like, pollution. Um, <laughs> they probably thought it would be funny. <laughs> now your logo it's is like, associated yeah, with sure. pollution. <laughs> yes. I guess they didn't have a marketing expert when they were making this game. Or a PR team, apparently. <laughs> or playtesters. Yeah, PR team. Yeah. Hey, does this sound like a good idea? Yes, that's hilarious. Do you it. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if this went the way of every British thing, and this was just like three guys in a shed. That's probably not far off, actually. That's how British cars started. It was three guys in a shed. <laughs> British technology. Yep. That's how. That's how. Like, uh, what is it? Uh, one of the snipers. I forget the name of it, but this freaking sniper that the military actually used for a while got made. A freaking few guys in the shed, freaking got a contract. It just reminds me of uh, the newer season of Hatilia when they were dealing with like the industrial age and fucking Britain was just like they, they when mass production started becoming a theme Britain was so far behind it's just like you don't want to buy your teacups it's like no everyone makes your teacups better especially America and it made them lose their shit they're like no oh yeah and they struggled so hard with industrialization uh, what a very educational show that people hate. <laughs> yeah. People hate that shit. Okay, so let me see. We got that side. Is there something else in this? Oh my god. That lifesaver is that trying to kill to you. Save yeah. you. Yeah. Yep. That would be like you getting a life jacket on, and the second you get into water, it drowns your ass. I mean, that is what it was trying to do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that one's they not put a on monster. This parachute. Parachute turns into a brick. I think this is like a storage space in the ship. Okay. <laughs> the entire ship blows up, and then the whole harbor catches fire just <laughs> from one box blowing up. Then there's nuclear waste spill everywhere. Freaking, you know, people start mutating. No, why? It turns out there's lead in the water. <laughs> Not surprising. Did you see the color of it? <laughs> 
Lead would be like the least surprising thing you would find in this water. Probably a few dead bodies. Yeah, Grutindel's probably part of the mob. She's our, she's obviously part of some like corporation. I mean, most of her levels are like about manufacturing. Yeah. Yeah, it probably to dissolves some the bodies though, like freaking Mountain Dew. <laughs> No, remember, uh, Mountain Dew doesn't dissolve bodies, because uh, otherwise that man wouldn't have found a full rat in the can of Mountain Dew. It would have dissolved. No, uh, they they actually won that court case because uh, the guys actually told them that, like, listen, if there was a can, if there was a rat, it would be yeah. impossible, because if a rat was in it, it would dissolve. It would exactly, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> people drink this shit. Yeah, I can't lie. I drink it too. <laughs> like, it's delicious. I can't it's stop. Delicious. It's delicious. Fucking poison. <laughs> it's delicious, it's Morty. <laughs> it's, it's got the ten more seasons. I don't know. Mountain Dew's on like lower end on the list. I'd rather have Sprite and our uh, Canadian Dry, whatever the fuck they call it. Ginger ale. Yeah. Do love me some ginger ale. See, uh, what is it? Sprite's changing the color of the bottles. Yep. What, you know why, right? So they, people don't get tricked in thinking it's green? <laughs> no, it's uh, because uh, whatever it comes to pollution and all that, whenever somebody sees a green bottle on the beach, they know it's Sprite. Uh, I guess there's, that's true. There's a lot more that isn't Sprite that you get in green bottles. Yeah, but they're the most there iconic is. one. They are. Well, I mean, if it's the uh, the green plastic bottle, then yeah, everyone knows it's Sprite. But if it's a green glass bottle, like, that could be anything. Oh, yeah, that could be anything, but no, the plastic bottles. Yeah. It's like, that they is 100% a Sprite. <laughs> that is Why did my double jump not work? Oh, what, you're actually trying to go over there? Yeah, I'm, I was trying to get on the, the thing. TNT. Yeah. Because what I can do... Climb that rope. Yep. Gonna come in like a wrecking ball. So I like how the rope has a metal sound effect. <laughs> they forgot to program a separate uh, emperor one. Well, they they have tree ones because trees don't sound metal when you climb them. It's just like there's just like oh, the, this oh. level is all metal, so everything here is metal. So it's like uh, no one play tested. <laughs> Maybe it was supposed to be like a uh, steel cable, but they didn't have the resources. Oh, uh, yes, they couldn't make uh, the color brown more gray. Yeah, see, that should have sunk the ship. It's sinking that the game quality. Sunk the ship. <laughs> I'm gonna put my head in this hole. Be an ostrich. I like how when you don't see Kazooie, it actually seems like you're throwing up into the pipe. It does <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, Morty. Fucking platforming. Let's make it curvier and curvier. I don't even like platforming. It says, hey, let me fuck with your camera angles. Yeah. It's just, is the platform straight? No. Does the camera stay static? No. Great, you've made a platformer. I don't know why that ginger could have walked towards you, so like, come towards me, buddy. <laughs> Alright, well, four more, where the fuck are they? I think most of them are in the ship, damn it! No, no, the poopy water, the poopy yep. water! Come on. Oh, you gotta, gotta, gotta get, get out, out that poopy water! <laughs> You can't stay in that water, Mr. Bear. You're gonna die. Banjo, stop drinking the water. It is not cotton candy flavored. No. <laughs> oh, he drank a little water. See, this doesn't taste like cotton candy. I was telling you. God, 
Oh my god, a camera! <laughs> I, I turned it that way specifically so that I'd be able to see it better. No, he just likes drinking that water. Yeah, walking too close to the edge. And you're about to break. It's like, I've seen Spider-Man. This <laughs> is how you get superpowers. Well, Frank, everything you say to me brings me one step closer to the edge. And I'm about to break. A hole. <laughs> a hole. I can't tell you how fucking long it took to find this thing the first time. Oh, uh, yeah, the water is not polluted in here. No, it is. It just doesn't look like it. Like, you still drown just as quickly. Jeez. How many more notes do you need? Uh, 21. Okay, that's not too bad. No, but... I have a lot of trouble collecting Monica. all the notes for this level. As well as the last Jiggy for this level, and it is entirely due to the inside of the ship. The inside of the ship is just hot garbage. Was it just a maze, or...? No, it's just hot fucking garbage, Frank. <laughs> we will see it soon, but don't worry. <laughs> Alright, that will come to a pass. Hey man, flying inside buildings is dangerous. Oh, oh. That is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Why did I hit the Z button? Alrighty. Okay, so... Oh, this is gonna be difficult. Right here. Okay. Got it. There you go. Alright. Now let's get. And now we shall never talk about this hole ever again. What hole? Exactly. The shark wants about? to talk to you about the hole, though. Ah! <laughs> no! That shark don't know shit. Give me me! I like how he's just content and saying here. He's like, this is my shitty fucking cube. Yep, this is my little territory. Anybody comes in here, they're gonna hear from me. All right. And next. Like the oh freshest water he can get. Hopefully the inside of the ship isn't plagued by lag. The, the rusty bucket? The rusty bucket. No, if, the, if the inside of the ship is plagued by lag, then I'm just done with this level. What? What was that? Why you did he did turn a, around? He did a 180. There isn't a control for that. <laughs> he does that automatically. He was like, I don't want to go in here. I mean, I don't blame him, but this isn't the part of the ship that sucks. I was going to say, can't you just like, run through with your shield? You could. <laughs> it's more fun killing them one by one, because then they all have to hear each other <laughs> die. <laughs> Welcome to the rescue bucket, hi. Just huh? destroy. What can I get for you today? Justice. <laughs> Would you like a rusty bucket with cheese? <laughs> <laughs> You're tea posing. Oh, is that what the fuck is? You're, and you just cut in half by yeah, having right. that drag through him. Oh, I didn't even get his name. This right here. If we we're asked that dolphin's name during the end bit of this game, I'm not going to know it. It's I Echo. forgot his name. I don't think it's Echo. Peacock. Is this going to kill you? It might. There Does a dolphin is. do anything now besides that, or is that it? No, that is it. Wow. He is a burden for you to save, and that is it. Okay, okay. Well, at least progress is being made. Yeah. It's uh, gotta okay, be just the ship. Oh, uh, yeah, it should be just that. We got one honeycomb. I think I know where that is. 
Three jiggies, 17 notes. That is quite literally an odd number, but okay. I wonder if there's a window oh, I'm missing. Snorkel. No, okay, that's what. Dolphin's name is Snorkel. Snorkel. Will you bother to look it up? <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah, Snorkel. Kind of like an on the nose name for this a, guy's um, music. For a dolphin. Boss boob box. Look at his face. Ooh. That was. Oh, it's it's supposed to be a slime. I mean, not a slime, a gelatinous cube. So it's like a Russian doll of mimics. Yes. Now the game desperately wants you to just shoot it with eggs. Oh, I know. I've never beaten him that way, and I kind of refuse to. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> You do have there a standing attack, right? Yeah, but it's terrible. Alright, more mimics. More mimics. Inside the mimic, you find a mimic. Yeah. Oh. All right, that's yeah, that's, a, that's a standing attack that did literally oh, nothing. Oh, dude. Yeah. Almost fucked it up. Almost. That's a that's a great idea though for a freaking uh D, &D monster. It's a Russian doll of freaking uh mimics. Mimics. You break one mimic, another mimic comes out. Jeez, oh my God, you're running around a series of different objects. You're running around with one health, dude. Yeah, I gotta find some uh some health. Cause this is not the level to be running around like this. Yeah. I think there's one over there. I think. Alright, well, be careful not to land on the box or that might kill you. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm gonna use the, uh, oh. Gotta get up on the little thing over here. Okay, a little ladder here. There we go. And then across. There we go. Give me your goo. So fucking dangerous. Uh, yep. No risk, no reward, right? Yep. Worth it. Yeah. Worth. Oh, this, this level's so chunky. Yeah, I tried these windows. Are they not interactable? Nah. The only windows you can break are, um, I'll show you the way you can tell. It's really, really subtle. So, you see how there's four window panes? Yeah. The top right pane, you see the one little streak of light on it? Yeah. So, the windows on the ship that you can break have three little streaks of light instead of one. Okay. It's really, really subtle. There you go. And we're in, boys. Give me that sweet honey. You go. That sweet honey. That sweet, sweet honey. Yeah, normally I just fucking yeet myself down here, but uh, not doing that this time. Two more. Of course, there's a common event. Ooh. This is the part of this level that sucks. Oh, yeah. 
like even on my best days I can fall off and die without meaning to and ruin the whole playthrough. They gotta slow oh, down at some really point. Long. Yeah, there you go. Do they? Yep. Let's see, they're still slanted. That's why you do a running jump. Twelve. Okay, so pretty sure they're all in this room because I think I see them all from here. Well, there's seventeen that I'm missing. Oh, seventeen. And the ones I'm counting here would be four, eight, twelve, which means that there's another five somewhere. Trying to figure out where those would be. I mean, this game has really bad draw distance. It might just be at the other side of this place and you just can't see them. Which is possible. Um, can't spin blocks. Yep. Patiently waiting. Oh yeah, this is this is the patience part. And then you wonder why like us as adults have anxiety now. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, this is a fun little puzzle. Fuck your fun little puzzle. This took me forever. Was that turn off the fan? No, the uh, propellers. Oh, okay, okay. Well, it slows the propellers. You can actually get in there. And trying to time the jump between the propellers here with a wacky camera angle sucks. Because if you get hit, you will just get knocked down there and die. It's scary. Mm. All right, fuck yeah. it. I'm just gonna try. Leroy Jenkins. Yeah. Alrighty. No! <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> wow. That's why I hate this level. <laughs> All I did was turn around and the camera shifted completely. Well, you're gonna have to do these notes uh, off screen because <sighs> fuck. Watching you yep. collect all 95 of them again. God. 95 that, plus that the five I missed. Yeah. Like, it's impossible for me to complete this level in one straight shot like that. I'm just gonna go back and try for the, uh... For the jiggy in there that I missed. Oh my god. Even Banjo was like, I don't want to go in here. Yeah, because you don't need it all 100, like, all the notes. You just need all the jiggies, no. right? You only need all the notes if you want to get um, double max life. Get this. For the final get boss this. fight. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Seriously. No, no. Wow. So the double jump feature just wasn't working again. What a great time. All right. Well. I think I'm going to call it there for this episode because I hate this level. <laughs> yeah, uh, looks like a bunch of off screen stuff to do here. Yeah, because I'm going to be fighting with a lot of lag to uh, get everything left. In but what was that? Level. That was eight so, jiggies? Eight jiggies. I know where the other two are. The one was right in front of me and then the other one is in the boat propellers. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then for Quick Clock Wood, we need to go back down here. Oh, I thought okay. she was about to say I never washed my ass. It's like, oh. <laughs> I mean, that is also probably true, considering the things that yeah. her sister says about her. 
Oh no. C mine. What a Capital. weird place for an entrance. It is super weird. Oh god, tendrils. Like, no touchy, no touchy. <laughs> sweet, sweet honey. Sweet honey. A fucking no. bull. Wake up! How else am I supposed to get around if you oh, can't digest we didn't, me? We didn't get the first one. Okay. Well, I know where we need to go anyway, so that's gonna make this pretty simple. I just hope we have enough jiggies for it. Should. Well, this is to the, uh, this is the game show, Whoa. which we're going to do after Click Quack Wood. What was over on this side? <laughs> Nothing important, apparently. Apparently not. No. No. Your way. It even hurt him, man. No. <laughs> no. Ah, this is boy, you get horns. Would a grizzly bear be able to survive like a full on head down charge from a bull? Ooh, Maybe. I guess it depends on the bear, doesn't it? Here we go. That's what I needed. So it makes it appear. I got it. And there's a mumbo oh. face. He's looking right there at is. you. That's not creepy like, oh, shit, at all. Noticed. You don't see me. They're acknowledging my racism. What do I do? Without a long-winded apology on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> I think you have enough to do the transformation based off what you mentioned. I should. Where are you going? I am going back down here. <laughs> Come on. Teleport. Teleport. And then, once we get here, we need to go up to the next room. Oh no! This <laughs> is that boy in the way. Waiting. Waiting for me. Alright, so first thing is we're gonna go in here. So I guess I forgot to go in here. God earlier. damn, you have a to-do list? Yeah. It's literally two steps, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is step one. So now we have a teleport thing. right back to Click Clock Wood. Woods. And what's step number two? Step number two is drop down here. And we gotta open up the level to Quick Clock Wood. All these areas are like in fucking. <laughs> the, the level design in this game is very weird. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that really made sense. Nah. Like, they just want you to run around aimlessly so you can find everything. But yeah, that's it. 
So next time we'll be doing Quick Clock Wood, which is arguably the best level in this game and probably the entire Banjo series. Well, okay. We'll uh, see it next time then. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.